Presenting, Mattel's Jurassic World, Dino Rivals, Attack Pack, Velociraptor Echo. There she is, the last Velociraptor to fully complete the Attack Pack Raptor Squad. I gotta say, despite the many criticisms due to its pose and paint job, I am very much happy to collect such rare figure. So let's first begin with its packaging. The Dino Rivals design sports a gradient T-Rex logo and dark red colors. It also features an image of a T-Rex and a Triceratops in a pre-battle since the line is focused on dinosaur fighting. The background bears the iconic Jurassic World branding, a new printing on the right side which is absent in other Dino Rivals packaging, and a taped collector card. The back of the box features an illustration of Velociraptor Echo and other amazing attack packs. Creatures such as Herrerasaurus, Dimorphodon, and Echo are repaints of earlier releases from the Fallen Kingdom line, while the Mononychus and the Silurius are Mattel's newest creations. They all look new, yet so familiar. Instead of ripping its protective cover, I used a cutter for lesser plastic damage and to keep the packaging's excellent condition. Being able to stand, articulated arms and legs plus action features are what makes an excellent dinosaur toy. But what is it without a movable mouth? The attack pack Velociraptor Echo has got you covered. Surprisingly, both of its arms can do a full 360 degree rotation. They are made with rubber plastic, so you can pose them with ease. However, certain angles may cause instability to Echo, so make sure you know the stable poses. The right leg of Echo is secured in place, and although I can feel a slight rotation when I move it, I did not bother to push further as it may break. Fortunately, the left leg makes up for it. It can both be stretched from the front and back. This possibility helps Echo in balancing at any surface. All Jurassic World Attack packs have a slightly oversized feet for stability, but it's also that the official stamp would feet underneath. Just like I said earlier, Echo is the last Velociraptor to complete the entire Attack Pack Raptor Squad. She is noticeably different due to her crouching position, but that's alright because in here, we see the varieties of Velociraptor poses Mattel has made for the Jurassic World toys. One of the many great things that make Mattel's Jurassic World toys exquisite is how they made each of their toys true to scale. Velociraptor Echo has achieved that perfectly. She's about 7.5 inches long and 2 inches high. That is a great measurement for a small scale dinosaur. She is no larger than a Pachycephalosaurus, but that doesn't mean she can fight against those who are bigger than her. Velociraptor Echo is always prepared and is dangerous in her own ways. Granted that pictures of Echo are scarce, Mattel surely did their best on replicating her movie counterpart coloration. She has a scar on her face, orange eyes, and yellow-orange coloration with dark blue stripings for her body. But strangely, yellow and turquoise was chosen for her toy counterpart. I find that a little inaccurate from her movie coloration but I'm still happy that Mattel produced and did their best on Velociraptor Echo. Lastly, Every Dino Rivals dinosaur toy is included with their corresponding collector cards. In this case, we have Velociraptor Echo, who has 9 points for attack, 9 points for intelligence, 9 points for speed, and 7 points for toughness. What a dangerous dinosaur indeed! Which is why I'm giving her a 7 out of 10 stars. So that's all for today. Please subscribe and hit that like button. And as always, Thanks for watching!